The track protection valve is, uh, has a passage here, so our red air comes through here, reacts on the tractor protection valve piston, compressing it, the spring in the bottom, moving the piston down, and now service brake air from the tractor can be allowed to go past the valve here when, the, when air is supplied to the top of it, it opens the bottom of the valve and air can come out through your blue a glad hand to operate the service brakes on the trailer. When you pull the red button out, then air is exhausted from the trailer supply circuit. The parking brake springs on the trailer apply and the tractor protection valve this now because there's no longer air pressure pushing down against the spring, the spring pushes up on the valve closing the supply port uh, to the uh, blue glad hand for your service brakes on your trailer. Every time you step on the treadle valve or pull the spike when the red button's out, air from the service brakes uh, circuit will just dead end here in the tractor protection valve. Now in the event of a trailer breakaway or when you're bobtailing, uh, this valve will close and it will protect the loss of service brake air. The uh, air coming out of your red glad hand through the service line, the reason that that air stops is not a result of the tractor protection valve but rather as a result of our push-pull valve or dash valve. This dash valve is designed so that when air pressure drops to about 45 to 25 pounds per square inch inside the, the valve, the valve springing will cause the spool valve to automatically close and go into the exhaust position, which then stops air going out your red uh, glad hand.